So, hello, good morning everyone. If you are watching this video somewhere at the end of 2024 or 2025 and so, please do check out my channel for any updated video as this is being recorded in the month of Jan 30, 2024. So, these are the updates and the questions which I have or I went through recently. So, for any updates, please do check the channel, do the check the channel for other videos. So, what am I going to cover in this video? I am going to list out all the H1B questions which I went through or my colleagues or the persons whom ever I interacted on spot in the embassy or uh, my other friends went through. So, this will give you an idea of what is being asked so that you can prepare accordingly. So, bef before I uh, start, the H1B questions vary from person to person. So, whatever you are going to see now or whatever you have heard from your friends might not be true for you also. If you are lucky enough, you can skim through the interview just with one or two questions or without even a question. But if you are, but if it is not your day, then you are going to be screwed up with lots of uh, all possible questions. So, just keeping the fingers crossed if you are going to apply for H1B. Okay, let us get started now. So, the first question, what is your employer's name? That is the common question. So, if, since you are going on a work visa, the first question you will end up is what is your employer's name? You can tell your employer name. So, how did you know him? So, the officer will be curious to know how did you know him? One primary reason behind all these questions is for the safety of employee, so that there is no fake H1B, uh, so that the employer does not exploit employee and we do not end up after going there uh, in trouble. So, that is the main purpose of this interview to scrutinize if your employer is really good enough, number one, and if you are really skilled enough to uh, go for this job. So, that is the main purpose, you have to keep that in mind always and this is a non-immigrant visa, you have to be cautious and sure about that. You, you have to come back after your contract period is over, you cannot tell, tell them that I will apply for an extension or I am planning to get green card, those are all at later stage, you cannot be doing a uh, you cannot be doing uh, a judgment now. So, for now, you can tell like this is your, uh, uh, your contract is for one year or two years, that is all. And moreover, I will not give answer on this. You discuss with your employer for the better answer which suits your case. So, will you work for employer or client? This is a common question which I saw in most of the cases, the friends whom I discussed. So, if client, if you tell client, they will ask your client letter, but what my employer said was, uh, client will not give you a client letter uh, unless you get an SSN for direct employer, I am telling. But if you are going through an MNC where they send thousands of people, then it would be easy to get a client letter. But this will be helpful for all those small uh, employees who are joining small employers, not a uh, big MNCs. So, will you work for employer or client? The safest will be to tell employer, but that would uh, increase the scrutiny for the employer. Next, what is your employer's company doing? So, this was one of the questions to my colleague which was asked. So, what is, if you tell your com employer's company name, they will ask wha what it is, what are they doing. So, you have to explain what services or products they are doing and uh, where is it located? So, where is your uh, employer located, how much is your compensation, what role will you be working on? So, this was a common question which was asked, your roles and responsibility, you should be good enough to explain your role as lead developer or software engineer, senior software and the roles and responsibility, you should be prepared for that. And uh, some sometimes for few of them, they ask the project description. So, you should be explaining what project you will be working on. 
and you have to explain them why does why do you need to go for that project okay what makes you special uh, for that project that you have to tell and your experience with the role so as i said in the previous question so this tie up with the previous one so what does what does it make so special on you to take up this job so where the experience comes so you have, i have worked on so and so technology for so many years i have expertise in all these fields so like that blah 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 you can tell and the list of forms they are going to ask uh, in my case is i129 lca and 797 so these are the documents you have to keep it ready other than that you have to take all their originals uh, original degree certificates uh, the consolidated mark sheets original and i took even family photos at the end of the visa interview the officer is going to tell you either they are granting you visa or your visa has been refused so visa refusal doesn't mean visa denial there is a difference so refused can be of different types we call it as 221g so there will be a separate video coming up in another one or two days on all the different possible 221g scenarios and what all has to be done so you can visit the channel for that video but if you are given 221g they'll be giving you different colored slips based on that you have to take up their next uh, process so those we'll be discussing in the next video so these are some of the possible h1b questions which were asked in jan 2024 so you can this would be helpful for you i guess so just to prepare and all the best if you have any questions just do let me know in the comments take care of health good day bye bye